morning welcome to java programming tutorials in this session we are going to discuss a day to day problem how to estimate emi using static and non static methods in java suppose your father would like to construct a house he needs say 50 lakhs funds to construct a house actually total expenditure is 75 lakhs he is already having 25 he needs 50 more he would like to take it as a loan from the bank the bank is giving loan at the rate of 9.5% okay and your father would like to repay it in 20 years so please help your father to find out to tell him how much he needs to pay per month as emi for 50 lakhs at 9.5% for 20 years and we we call this as tenure right and this is and this is a principal amount and this is annual interest right let us do it the formula for this is p into monthly rate of interest into 1 plus r to the power of n r is monthly rate of interest and is number of months divided by 1 plus r to the power of n minus 1 this is the formula for emi this is monthly rate of interest and this is number of months and this is the principal amount okay is this clear let us find out writing a program your father will be more happy if you can if you can help him finding out this right static method returns emi which is a double variable type compute emi principal amount number of years annual rate of interest let annual rate of interest is double okay now you find out number of months number of months is equal to number of years by 12 okay sorry into 12 this is number of months here n is number of months right now uh, double r is equal to annual rate of interest by 12 here what is r rate of monthly interest okay and what is expression for emi p into monthly interest rate into i take power function from math math dot power 1 plus r One plus r to the power of n. Okay, now divided by one plus r to the power of n minus one. Okay, and this is EMI. Let us return it. Okay, now here. create one variable of type emi call the function compute emi 
and your father would like to take 50 lakhs at 9.5 percent interest for 20 years so compute dmi what is the principal amount 50 lakhs 500 5000 50000 5 lakh 50 50 lakhs for how many years 20 years at what interest rate 9.5 percent okay is this clear now print it print principal amount which is p print in your this is n uh, what is p let us do one thing int p is equal to 50 lakhs 500 5000 50000 5 lakhs okay tenure n is equal to 20 years rate of interest is equal to 9.5 percent right so here i put p n r right a tenure is n okay now rate of interest this is annual interest rate annual interest rate this is annual interest rate how much it is r now finally monthly emi monthly emi that is nothing but emi okay let us execute this line number 16 okay i'm sorry n is already defined so need not define again r is already defined so need not define again. So for 550 lakhs for 20 years at 9.5% interest rate, you need to pay 46,606 rupees every month. Let us convert this to integer to get rid of digits of decimal point. Okay. Is this clear? If you, if your father can afford to pay 46,000 rupees per month, then he can get a loan of 50 lakhs provided he show guarantees. Hope you understand it. Suppose if he can pay more, then he can finish in finish earlier. In 15 years, he wants to pay in 15 years, then EMI will be 52,000, not much. If he can pay 52,000 per month, he can pay back the total loan in 15 years. I hope you understand it. Okay, this small program will help your parents. Right? Suppose you want to construct a big house, so a one crore loan to be paid in 25 years. Right? 
87,000 थाउजेंड पर मंथ दिस इज क्लियर अंडरस्टूड दैट्स इट होप दिस लिटिल कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर आई टेक योर लीव थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग